Mm hmm Smoked it. Smoked it. It was like a topwater bite. You know, one of the things I get a lot of, a lot of people know how much I like to throw or swim a jig, you know, and there's differences in casting it and flipping it. Uh, you can put any trailer on it, any trailer you want, and you're going to catch fish. But I really believe that uh, if you fine tune those trailers, that you'll get more bites based on the water color, the water temperature, and those kind of things. So we're going to literally sit down and go through the box and kind of give you a what trailer I use for what time of year. So this is my box. This is my trailer box, um, you know, for jigs and stuff like that. This is the box I carry. It's the only box I carry. Everything that I need uh, for swim jig, for the most part, is in here. And you're only going to see, you know, a couple different colors of several different styles. Um, my go-to, I mean, the one that I use the most is the crawl chunk. You can see the two different sizes there. I really like the small one. If the water's real clear and I want to move the bait and, and I want to be more finesse, it still has a good little kick, but it lets the bait get down there a little bit deeper. You know, the bigger chunk there, it's going to ride that bait higher. It's going to have a lot more action. I'm going to use that, you know, in dirtier water or in shallower water. So the the crawl chunk, great choice. The Christie crawl, you know, a lot of people have talked about this. It's a great flipping bait, but it's also a great jig trailer. This is a real subtle swimming action where the crawl chunk is just doing all of this. This is more like just a, you know, just a little bit of action. So if the water was colder, you know, and I wanted to get that bait down there a little bit, I would probably lean toward the Christie Critter. Uh, this is a kind of a new bait that we have. This is probably the most subtle, you know, if, if the fish are finicky or uh, it's super clear, this is the Yum Spine Crawl. This bait right here has all of, the, I mean, all of the action is right behind the bait. There's nothing wide. It's just, you know, it's right behind that. And it's just kind of a smaller kick, kick in action. But there's days that, you know, when it's like that, you just, you just get more bites. Um, but that's, you know, that's, you're really going from the most finesse, you know, to the most vibration. You can just see the difference in the tails there. You know, those two there. That's all I carry. I mean, you'll see a few different colors, that crawl chunk there, that's for summertime, you know, that shad looking color, the white one for shad spawn. Uh, that's really it. The only other one that I'll use, or some of them laid out here, is the hammer crawl at Jean LaRue. This is, this has a lot of plastic, okay? If I'm swimming through like water willow or something like that, and I need to keep that bait uh, super, super high, that's what I'm going to put on there because the more plastic you put back there, the more it's going to float that bait up. I can still throw a half ounce jig, you know, and cast, be able to cast it good, but it's going to keep that bait up there uh, really tall. But day in, day out, I mean, I keep it pretty simple. You see how color wise I keep it simple, but day in, day out, it's the two crawl chunks, the small one and the big one. Uh, but I do vary those somewhat throughout the year. You know, I don't swim a jig a lot in the wintertime, so a lot of this is from 55 to 90 degree water temperature. I don't, I just don't swim a jig a lot in the wintertime. It's just because a lot of those fish are out there a little bit deeper. You want to crawl it more than you want to swim it. Close the box. Hope you guys learned something, and I appreciate you riding along.